Okay, so I think it's time we talk about some One Punch Man and I feel like it's finally time to make a proper video because if you guys didn't know, over the past like few days or actually over the past week, I've been just uploading purely, you know, re-uploads to the channel because these are just videos that I thought could have done better than they did back in the day when I first started my channel. But of course, the main reason why I haven't been uploading videos normally to the channel is because I've been trying to catch up with the manga Baki and if you guys don't know what Baki is then I mean it's the you know it's a new manga that I'm going to be covering on the channel because I did a poll like a few days ago and Baki ended up winning that poll so it seems like I'm going to be covering more Baki content on the channel once I catch up to the manga and the recent chapter but apart from that let's just talk about what exactly we're going to be talking about in this video and of course as you can tell by the title we are going to be talking about my prediction for One Punch Man chapter 150 156 of the manga now if you guys don't know you know 156 has actually been completed by Murata already he said this on his twitter but it seems like he's waiting until the 14th to drop it completely and i don't exactly know why but you know Murata is the master you don't question what he does you just let him do his thing but apart from that let's just get into the video now we know that in the last chapter we saw basically a three-way fight between flashy flash platinum s and of course garo now i feel like in the next chapter we will start to wrap up that fight because although this fight is pretty hype i don't think it, it can stretch on longer than it already has i mean it it's not necessarily a, a you know a long fight and i feel like it's just due to the nature of the fight i feel like this is supposed to wrap up pretty quickly since you know this is a fight you know of speed you know we have three speed demons fighting it out you know currently in the manga so i feel like in the next chapter or the chapter after that we will come to a conclusion with this fight and we will we i feel like we might actually shift away and we might focus on you know psychos and fubuki i've said this in previous predictions but i feel like this is something we eventually have to get to because you know fubuki and psychos's conversation is actually pretty important when it comes to you know the overarching story in one punch man and i feel like we will get to that eventually but i'm not sure if it's going to be the next chapter it's pretty unlikely because i feel like marata is just gonna you know keep building on the hype that he's already created and i feel like once you know the hype has died down after like one or two chapters we might go to fubuki and psychos because i'm pretty sure Murata knows that everyone is more anticipated for the hype moments so like for example you know platinum s versus garo and flashy flash you know evil natural water you know saitama versus garo when it eventually comes those are the fights that everyone is looking forward to i'm pretty sure like a lot of people don't like us and fubuki even though it is pretty important and as i said that we do you know eventually get to this in the manga it is a pretty important plot point that we need to cover well marata needs to cover so i feel like that's gonna eventually come but i'm not too sure if it's going to be in the next chapter i feel like the next chapter we might start to see evil natural water be more involved in the in the fight i feel like evil natural water will make his move in the next chapter i feel like that's something marata like needs to do i'm pretty sure like a lot of people are really anticipated or just really waiting to see what evil natural water is going to do because we've seen that evil natural water has absorbed the ocean so of course you know everyone is just you know on the edge of their seats everyone wants to know what's going to happen with evil natural water what he's going to do you know all that good stuff and now when it comes to who evil natural water is going to face i feel like there's probably like three main candidates that evil natural water could actually face off against and the first one or and the most likely one is saitama because let's be honest saitama is like the only person that's actually able to defeat something that's as big as evil natural water well i'm actually expecting evil natural water to do quite a bit of damage before he goes out i feel like evil natural water needs to do that just to establish how strong he is in this new 
ocean form that he's in so i feel like that's gonna happen definitely evil natural water is gonna establish some feats in the next chapter and that's probably gonna be probably i'm pretty sure evil natural water might be like the mvp of the next chapter depending on if saitama one punches him in the next chapter or not but of course the next candidate evil natural water could face off against is pig god now this one is a lot more interesting because we know that pig god is one of those few characters that hasn't really shown us anything so far in the series so it would be pretty fitting for him you know to face off against evil natural water and we know that pig god actually has like a secret technique up his sleeve i'm pretty sure he stated this like many chapters ago now that he actually can't use this it's something that has actually been prophesized before in you know the prophecy and we know that you know pig god is definitely going to be one of those characters that's going to be like a part of the end game you know against god which i'm pretty sure everyone knows god is the final i guess big bad of the series so pig god might use this secret technique against evil natural water or he could leave that till the end of the series but of course that's just the speculation i'm not too sure if pig god is going to face off against evil natural water that would be pretty fitting since pig god could like you know i don't know maybe eat evil natural water or just drink all of the ocean if he can that would be pretty impressive but of course the final candidate i feel like evil natural could you know evil natural water could go up against is platinum s now hear me out i feel like platinum s right now is being pretty disrespected i mean he's being punched around by garo you know flashy flash is able to keep up with him which i guess is pretty disappointing since you know we expected platinum s to be a lot stronger and i actually made a whole video on whether or not platinum s is actually overrated so in the next chapter hopefully i'm hoping platinum s can redeem himself at least by maybe you know holding off evil natural water or maybe you know redeeming himself by maybe you know getting a few hits on garo himself and you know dominating flashy flash which of course is something everyone wants to see because we want platinum s to be like this crazy strong monster i mean his introduction was insane so i'm hoping he can live up to that <laughs> in the next couple of chapters now of course finally i feel like after in in the recent chapter or well, the chapter that's coming up now i feel like we definitely need to get some i guess some updates on tatsumaki because and you know all the injured heroes i feel like that's something we need to i guess get some updates about just a quick status update on how they're doing you know how bang is doing how bomb is doing you know we kind of need to i guess just take a step back from the action a little bit and the next chapter and maybe just check on how all the other heroes are doing that is definitely something i see Murata doing but of course we, who knows Murata could just straight up just be caught up in this hype and this action and just carry on releasing these crazy chapters with insane fight scenes and insane choreography and fights it, it, what Murata does is insane i don't know how he does it but i mean he's he's broken his limits at this point that's all i can really say but apart from that that's pretty much all i have for this video i feel like the next chapter is gonna be a pretty long one i feel like maranta has a few pages ready in store for us definitely gonna be one of the longer chapters not in, you know not crazy long but it's gonna be longer than usual i'm hoping but apart from that that's pretty much it if you like the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new and apart from that i'll see you in my next video.